Hello everyone and welcome to a short demo about new TMTB configurations in Azure SQL Managed Instance. I'm connected to a SQL MI here, and I'll first show you how to configure the number of TMDB files and their growth increments to tune your instance performance. SQL MI used to have exactly 12 TMDB data files and one TMDB log file. And this is still the default TMDB file layout. So we are starting from there. We can see that file layout by listing the TMDB files. Let us now configure the number of TMDB files. You cannot add nor remove a TMDB log file, but you can add new TMDB data files or remove existing data files until you come to the optimal configuration for your workload. I'm staying for your workload here because there is no optimal number of TMDB files for all workloads. It depends on the degree of contention seen in TMDB, which is unique for each workload. Okay, so I gave a logical name, new file one, to the new file, respecting the limitation of maximum 16 characters. And this reports it to say, because this is a specific limitation to SQL MI. Still, let's run this. Let us check on the TMDB files now. This is a new file. Okay, let's add one more. Let us now remove some TMDB files. To remove a file, you need to empty it. So let me run that first. I need to clear the cache as well. So let's run that. And now let's remove the file, new file one. You probably noted that you do not have to restart the server after adding or removing TMDB files. However, the empty files will be filled with higher priority and the round robin algorithm for allocating pages will be shortly lost until the system is rebalanced. So just have that in mind. Now let us configure the growth increments for TMDB files. You can configure the growth increments for both TMDB log and data files and you can specify a file growth when creating a new file this way. So let's, let's run on this. Let's create a new file tree with a file growth of 100 megabytes. Let us check on the TMDB files and their properties now. You can see that the file growth is different from the other files. So we set it successfully. You can also change the file growth for an existing TMDB file. Like this. Let's run this one more time and just check on the files. Okay, this was set successfully. We strongly suggest setting the growth uh, increments the same across all TMDB files because otherwise the round robin algorithm for allocating pages will be lost after each increase of any TMDB file and the system may not be able to rebalance. One important thing to stay here is that your TMDB configurations will be persisted upon a server restart, an update test allow, or a failover. And we can show this by invoking a failover. Additionally, a snapshot isolation property for TMDB will now also be persisted upon a server restart, or a failover, or an update test allow. So let us show that too. I'm going to check on a snapshot isolation state. Now it's off. So I'm going to set it on. Let's just check that one more time. It's on now. And I'm going to invoke a failover of this instance. This will take a short time. And while it's running, let us summarize on TMDB configurations. Before, we had a number of TMDB files and their logical names pre-configured and fixed. Now, these are configurable properties with a maximum of 128 files. Also, growth increment for TMDB data and log files were fixed, and now they are configurable. The default values stay the same. Okay, this is finished. Let's check on the TEM, uh, TMDB file layout. You can see that here are the files that we created previously. And let's just check on this snapshot isolation to see whether it is on. Yes, it is on. Thank you everybody for watching.